Good morning guys, just a quick video to show you how to add fractions with different denominators. It's dead easy to add fractions when we have the same denominator because it's the same part. However, this time, because the parts are different, we can't add them together. For example, it's like trying to add a table and a chair. It doesn't work. So this time we need to make them the same. But I'm going to show you how we represent them using bars. Okay, so the first fraction is a third. So I've split my square into thirds and I'm going to shade in the third. The other fraction is in fifths, but I'm going to go this way this time. So I'm going to split this square into five equal parts. So roughly equal, and I'm going to shade in now my fifth. However, they're still not the same because all I've done now is represent them in picture form. So I'm now going to make the third look like this square here and the fifth look like this square here. So I'm going to bring this across and I'm now going to separate it in to the five equal parts. So therefore, we have, we now have 15 parts. This time I'm going to split it into the thirds, like the original fraction. Again, count the parts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, we've counted the shaded parts now then. One, two, three, four, five. I now have five fifteenths. Add one, two, three, three fifteenths, which leaves my answer as eight over fifteen. So, if we were to look at that without a picture form, we would look at times in the denominators together. 3 times 5 is 15, so we're looking to make both denominators now 15. So I would times 3 by 5. Now what I do to the denominator, I have to do the same to the numerator, times that by 5, which leaves me now with a new fraction of 5 over 15. What I do to the denominator to make it 15 is multiply it by 3. So do the same to the numerator, multiply it by 3, which is 3 fifteenths. Again, it takes us to the same answer of 8 over 15. Next question. Guys, have a go at that on your own, and then I'm going to come back and talk you through it. So the first fraction, we're going to split into quarters. So we're going to four equal parts. And I've got one quarter shaded. The next fraction, I'm now going to split into thirds, but I'm going to, like I did before, do it the opposite way around. So we've got two of those thirds shaded. The parts should be equal, but just for the purposes of this drawing, they're not. So I'm now going to make this the same and this the same. So we've got the same amount of parts in each shape. So I'm going to split that into thirds. I'm going to split this in to quarters. So half and then half again. Which has now left me each shape. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have 12 parts. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 parts in there. So let's count up the shaded parts now then. So we have three shaded parts out of 12. And we now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight shaded out of 12. 
Adding those together, because they're now the same denominator, we have 8 plus 3, which is 11, 11 twelfths. Just to show, going through this, without the models, 4 times 3, which is 12. So we're going to make the denominators 12. What do we do to 4? Take 12 and multiply it by 3. What we do to the denominator, we must do to the numerator, which leaves us with 3 over 12. So we've now got multiply 3 by 4 to get to 12. And what we do to the denominator, we must do to the numerator, times that by 4, which leaves us with 8. We've got 8 over 12. Add those two together, leaves us with 11 over 12. Guys, can you now challenge yourselves answering this question, completing like the previous two examples?